number 20. This is Zulu Cat 823 Welcome you back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. Let's install the Twilight Princess. And in this part, we're gonna head through this door. Because we can't really go anywhere else. It looks like just a dead end room, which means bad things probably. Yep. Gate closed behind us. We can't leave. It's the big monkey with his evil boomerang. Oh dear. No, don't send those things at us. I don't like those things. They take like two hits to kill. But they can be very annoying if they hit you. This guy is annoying. Basically, you have to roll into the thing. And then wait, and then do a combo. Okay, sorry I'm not talking, I have to concentrate. I don't remember him taking this many rounds. I thought he only took two, but I guess it's four. There. It is four rounds. And that is our mini boss fight. And it turns out he was being controlled by an evil parasite with bug, which is dead now. Yeah, they managed to tie bugs into everything. <laughs> and he leaves, like, sorry, I'm. I didn't mean to. He realized what he was doing and he left. Well, he f I f you forgot something. <laughs> it's a great quote. I am the Fairy of Winds. Yay. Items talk to you now. Yay, we got the Gale Boomerang, and it's an item that talks to you. Cool. And it has wind, and it's wind elemental, I guess. You're busy. I'm setting it to B. I'm sorry. No, I meant Lantern. Lantern, you can go on the back one. Yeah, it has wind powers, which is cool, I guess. Yeah! Wind! You can rotate things. You don't have to walk onto it. You can walk onto it, which means that it'll automatically go to that place, which can be useful if you're multi-targeting. But which you press C to lock, and then C, and then you can let it go, and when, when, even when you're pointing somewhere else, and it will automatically go there. You need to lock on if you want to go to anywhere else, and you can lock on to anything. You don't have to lock on to something that suggests. You can put a lock anywhere, and it'll go there. So that's kind of cool. We'll be using this boomerang to solve basically the rest of the puzzles in the dungeon. Starting with this one.
and we freed another monkey. We found another monkey. Might as well for I mean, we might as well free him. What's the harm in not freeing him? Weird me. And yes, you do need to free all of them. No, they're about to turn. Yeah. I was like, they're gonna turn soon. And we get back to the other side, because we couldn't go back the way we came. And we're back in here. With the boomerang, we can actually do some more stuff in this room, which is nice. So I'm going to take a quick detour over here. This is this room and the main hub room where we... Like the second room, not the entry room, but like the second room are the rooms that we can do stuff in. Here's how you kill these guys. You can also attack them after you pull them out. So like you don't have to get lucky and knock them in the water. That just happens with these guys because they're like that. Also this tile these tiles are messing with my Go away tiles. That's how you kill these guys. Also, the boomerang can port out torches. So yeah, the boomerang did just put out the torch that was keeping this up, which means we can get back here and grab the other piece of heart. No, Link, don't go diving. Or Xenocat, as, as I changed the name. Get out of there. We need to get back out of here. So yeah, the boomerang actually does remain useful for basically the rest of the game, so I do like that. I mean, there are going to be uh, things that get obsolete. Some of the items aren't super useful everywhere, but... Like, they kind of force their way in to, be, to usefulness, but I mean, they do end up getting used for the most part. There's only one item I can think of that doesn't find use later in the game, from a dungeon. And this game does have quite a few creative items. Yeah, might as well do that. And we get... What do we get for our efforts here? It's the compass! Finally, we can see where treasures are. And captured monkeys. So if we look at our map, it's all one floor. There's one treasure here. That's the big key. Not the boss key. It's the big key in this game. The red dots are monkeys. Uku will show up on the map as well. It's a, she looks like a weird symbol. There's a couple other treasures. I think both. No, this is a key. That's something else. And the purple dot is the boss.
We didn't need that anyway. I mean, basically right now, we just have to go through here, and then we'll be done with this whole... Like, we're... As we go through each of these rooms, we're basically finishing the room off. Of course, I do have to get the big key on this room. I'm challenging myself not to call it the boss key, except during times where I'm, like, saying... Where I'm talking about the challenge, or saying it's not that. So that's my own... My little challenge. At least I think it's called the big key. The challenge will be pointless if it's not, but let's find out. Here you target in the pattern on the floor, the Z pattern. And the gate opens, and now we can open that cool looking chest to get... It's gonna be some special key. I think it's the big key. It's the big key! I guessed right. Let's see if I remember not to call it the boss key. I did it. Well, I did it the first time. So now that we have the big key, we can... Head over here where the monkey is trying to lead us. And this is going to be our new hub room, sort of. Because now that we have the boomerang, we can rotate that. Do I want to go straight? Probably not, actually. Let's go check out this room first, because it's unlocked. Well, that was easy. Something tells me I don't want to go down there. Yeah, there's a thing that'll eat you and take away a heart if you go down the other one. Yeah. I mean, you all have to open this is... Oh, come on. I believe this is the one I want to go down. Yeah, this is the one I want to go down. There. Saved another monkey. If you fell down the other one, you'd land in that thing. figuring stuff out. Oh yeah. And you can throw the bomb in him, in this guy, if you want to kill him. It do, it's not necessary, but might as well get rid of this guy. We get 20 rupees for it which I actually didn't know. 
So I will take those 20 rupees, even though my wallet is actually kind of, kind of full, because you can only hold 300 with the starting wallet, which is kind of ridiculous. I don't get wallet sizes. Link can carry so much stuff, but he can't carry everything in his wallet. Oh my god. I just made that mistake. Uh, don't fall down. It's not fun. And that's the moral of the story here. Oh god, I can't even see how long this video is. Um... Okay, so we're getting, like, kind of far, far through the video. Yeah, I'll just... Yeah, show you guys what lies beyond this door. So it looks like we're gonna need to save all the monkeys. Let me bring this monkey over here. And we see that there's two monkey spots, there's two spots for monkeys left. And we need to help follow them in order to keep going. So, next time, We'll try looking for the remaining two monkeys. I'll see you then.